Everyone has something or someone they obsess about. For you, it can be a celebrity, a sports team, or a talent show. But for INTJs, it is the time they spend alone. A time in the universe where everything is under control and every possibility is possible. A time where they are able to have the kind of fun they want without conforming to the stressful ways of normal people. Having fun means different things for different people. For our integers, it means spending the most amount of time alone. To say you had fun, your brain must release at least one or all four happy chemicals. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Here are four ways INTJs have evolved to naturally trigger the release of happy chemicals at will and avoid the use of abusive substances. 4. Listening to music. INTJs enjoy only one true moment in their lives, when they are alone, seated on a comfortable chair, with earphones plugged in, recounting and reliving the moments they spend with others. Listening to music is considered fun by INTJs because it relaxes the brain, allowing them to connect to their deepest fears and strengths. Music to INTJs is a great source of fun because it triggers the release of dopamine, a brain chemical responsible for happiness. When INTJs party alongside friends, they don't enjoy the minute-by-minute -minute celebration of the hour as their friends. They have fun only when they interpret why others are happy by connecting their emotional expression to the lyrics and melody of the song. These information addicts cannot differentiate between when to have fun and when to gather information because their brains are hardwired to collect new information at any time. Therefore, they enjoy and learn at the same time. 3. Taking a walk. Walking through a lonely path in a park allows them to fully connect with nature. The scent of flowers and rotten leaves purifies their thoughts and suck away their worries like a sponge. When they connect with the environment and their breathing rate is in sync with their footsteps, they float in an endless cloud of happiness. In this state, their imagination is real. You can feel, touch and smell it. If you watch them carefully, you can hear their thoughts, see them gesticulate as they imagine out loud. This deep connection with their inner selves triggers the secretion of the second happy chemical, oxytocin, also known as the trust chemical. This chemical strengthens the bond between INTGs and their guts. 2. Having a meaningful conversation. This may come as a surprise to many of you that talking can be a great deal of fun to INTGs. INTGs spend a good chunk of their day in silence. When they meet or have the opportunity to talk to someone that understands them without effort, instead of being good listeners as usual, they rise to the occasion and talk until they can talk no more. When they talk, they relieve themselves of the feeling of not being understood. After every second and a nod comes a deep breath and the release of inbuilt tension which unlocks the third happy chemical, serotonin the angel of self-confidence and happiness. INTGs are able to hold people's attention and sustain an ongoing conversation by soaking each sentence in sarcasm before churning it out. The laughter from the sarcasm triggers the release of the fourth happy chemical, endorphin, also known as the painkiller. 1. Helping others. To INTGs, fun is when they are of service to humanity. When they help people through difficult moments, to INTG, this is fun. The gratitude you get from helping a friend or a stranger is the most genuine feeling you can get void of flattery. The thank yous that come as a result of helping others is the purest and most sincere thank you you can ever get from others. Helping others makes INTGs feel important and trustworthy. These good deeds of theirs triggers the secretion of happy chemicals in their brains and the brain of the recipient, making the feeling mutual. The use of normal people in this video is not as a way of saying INTGs are not normal, but to establish a clear-cut differentiation of INTGs from the rest of the personality types. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.